case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The corporate espionage saga, Minuteman Inc. v. Alexander et al., embroiled the Wisconsin Supreme Court in 1989 in a riveting conflict. A fallout sparked between the homeware firm Minuteman and its former employees Alexander and Cash who were accused of spiriting away trade secrets and sensitive computer data to hatch their own competing venture, Amity. Minuteman promptly sought legal recourse, filing for a temporary injunction aimed at forbidding the defendants from exploiting the stolen inputs. The Dane County Circuit Court, overseen by Judge P. Charles Jones, initially turned down the injunction motion. In an interesting twist, however, the appeal triggered a game of judicial ping-pong as the case ping-ponged between courts. The Court of Appeals probed the motion afresh partially agreeing with their lower counterparts, but reversing them on an essential trade secret issue. This forced the case's return to the circuit court for further scrutiny. The court drew upon the UTSA and layered it with past case law to shape their definition. They decided that a trade secret held distinct economic value that was far from public knowledge and took substantial efforts to keep under wraps. The court also examined the consequences of illicit trade secret access, the legitimacy of reverse engineering, and the confidential status procured by customer lists and inquiries. This legal voyage culminated with the court mostly aligning with the circuit court, but contradicting it on select elements. It was eventually established that an injunction's lifespan for trade secret violation should mirror the time it would have taken for someone to stumble upon the secret through acceptable avenues. The verdict also nullified the once dominant Karun test that formerly steered trade secret classifications. Customer List 2 finally received their overdue acknowledgement for trade protection under the UTSA. Hence, the trial, with its sensational courtroom revelations, entrenched shifts in trade secret law, and judicial flip flops, became a landmark case in the annals of intellectual property rights. It concluded, however, in an anti climax, with the court partly validating and partly nullifying the circuit court's decision sending the case back for more rounds of courtroom battle. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.